room. What's up, Jesse? Can you hear me, man? Just give some people a chance to get in the room. Harris, you out there, my man? Matt, what's going on, Matt? What's up, what's up, guys? Michael Aguilar, who's your pretty amiga? What's your name? Damaris. This is Damaris, guys. And I got a special surprise for you guys tonight. All right. That's what I'm talking about. 26 people all already in the room. Blues man. What's up, blues man? Cole Winhouse. Good to see you, bro. Guys, it's been a long time. I've missed you guys. Check this out, guys. This is my friend Damaris right here. Hey, guys. Good, after good, good night. Right? Good night. Yeah. And Damaris speaks really good English. Um, and this is kind of a reply video to the Brit girls who took my video and made some comments about it. So now I'm going to take their video and I'm going to make some comments about it. But this is a live show. Later, I'll be doing a live interview with Miss Damaris right here. And you guys feel free to shoot any questions that you may have about a working professional girl in Tijuana, Mexico. And she'll talk about her relationship with me. And I'll talk about my relationship with her and her relationship with you guys. Whatever the questions may be, let me know, guys. Let's just keep it respectful and keep it on point. Please. Please. All right, guys. We got 31 people in the room and 11 likes. I know my ratings are going to be down a little bit because I haven't been online in a long time. But go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Let's get those likes up. And let's take some questions. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. I had to buy a couple properties. I've been working really hard, working late, buying real estate. You know what's up. So, ¿te puedo hacer preguntas normales? Yeah, that's all it is. ¿Y ellos también hablan español? They speak Spanish and English. Okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Has any of you guys recognize this girl? You seen her? Stay in the camera. At Tropical, maybe. La Carreta, somewhere. Around the block. <laughs> <laughs> On the block. Mm -hmm. Sean Woodson, what's going on, big dog? Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, how many of you guys saw that video that those uh, Brit girls did about me? Anybody see that? They're probably just talking a little bit of crap up on your video. Because you're too honest, you know? I'm too I honest. Love I love it, yes. I am very too honest, honest. yeah. Oh. Well, what do you think about what they said? I think they're right. I think they have a point. They have a point. Yes, they do. But I think you're just too dramatically honest when you talk about the girls from the zone. I think you just probably should take it a little bit easy. Isaiah, no, I'm not banned from the HK. I'm back in the saddle. <laughs> I should take it easy? Well, I mean, like, but what do you think all the guys are in the zone for? To get that fantasy they don't get in the States. To get the fantasy they don't get in the States. The fantasy that they do not get at home. That too, yeah. You have a point there too, yeah. And what do you think? What do they think? Well, let me ask you this. I have a question for you. How is it that a guy that is home spending, you know, thousands of dollars on rent, on her new car, her health insurance, he's supporting this girl, right? Right. And yet he feels like he's treated better for going to Zona Norte and spending $100 at Tropical. He gets treated better there than he does at the house. Otherwise, he wouldn't be there. Let's be honest. If he got treated like shit at the club mm -hmm. and better at home, he would not be at the club. Uh, I don't think they make the right decision when they find a girl. You know, when they marry a girl, I think they should find the girl of their dreams. They probably just don't get what they want. The girl turns old. They turn fat. They don't want to take care of her. They don't want to invest money on her. And they just end up going elsewhere to go look for what they want, right? Like I said, my English is not that good. It's pretty good to Lucas. But um, other than that, I think, I think guys just want that sluttiness to be all over them. 
But what do you think? What do you go for? Well, I think it is the fact that, you know, they're sick of coming home from work and it's, you know, I'm tired. Um, I don't feel good. My stomach hurts. Not today. I haven't taken a bath yet. You know, it's just always some. I'm on my period. I'm on my period. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that, right? That's great. You know, I'm on my period. You know, it's always some bullshit and they're not mm -hmm. getting it. I mean, you know, and I think that naturally after a long time, things, you know, go downhill. Okay. But, I mean, you see it every day. I mean, these guys are literally spending thousands of dollars. And here's a question for you. How, you know, these guys spend thousands of dollars on these girls, yet they're down in Tijuana at the Hong Kong club, at the Chicago club, and they're spending a hundred bucks, try to stay in the camera, and they're spending a hundred bucks, you know, to get treated better there than they do at home, right? So this is a question to you. Why do the girls there at the clubs, why don't they just grab a guy that's paying for all their shit and they only have to deal with one dude? Why are they dealing with, you know, several dudes? Maybe because they don't want to deal with strings attached. They want to have various guys to deal with at the club, inside the club, not outside. Outside mm -hmm. the club is just a whole different story. Maybe you have to get to know somebody intim intimate. Intimately. Yeah, intimately to get to, to get deal with someone outside work. To get invited to her house. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean... You must be doing something good, right? I must be. You clean that up pretty good. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of guys that go to the bars down here in California, in, I'm sorry, in Tijuana, is because, um, see, like, for example, there's a lot of Indians, Hindus. Their culture is to always stay with their families. You cannot break up, like, their, what is it, their marriage? Because it's, like, so bad to their culture. You right, can't, right, yeah. right. So they kind of go to Tijuana to have that experience and then they go back to their homes and they just act like nothing happened mm -hmm. because they don't want to break their marriage. They don't want the family to be like, Oh, se separaron, ya no tiene su esposa, ya no están juntos. So they just want to keep that beautiful image, even though their home is like so broken. Yeah. Yeah. There's they're not going much, anywhere. There, no going intimacy anywhere. there at all. No. Well, what do you think about, what do you, what would you say to the Brit girls um, for the girls in the girls in Zona Norte, right? They're girls, they want to be there. They like working there. It's a means to an end. I mean, what what what's their what's the attitude of the normal chick there? Say that again. Rephrase that. Okay. What would you say to the Brit girls about the average girl at Zona Norte? The average girl at the Chicago Club or the average girl at the Tropical Club? Uh, I think we're all nice. We're all nice girls. We're just looking to make some money, you know, extra money. I think they're right. I think they have a point. I think everything they said, it's definitely their own point of view, which I understand because I seen their video. I, I, I seen what they had to say. Mm -hmm. I heard it. I just feel like they're not in this side of the world, so they should probably keep their comments to themselves as well, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody has their own opinion, and I respect whatever they had to say, but at the end of the day, they should co probably come to Tropical, get to know me better, maybe. I, I think definitely so too. invite them. I invite them over, you I know? think they should come to Tropical, too. And, you and know, they should be Lucas. Lucas is just a what, whole character, you know? What do you, what do you think they would think about me after meeting me in person versus seeing, you know, versus seeing one video that I made? Se paciente, girls. Be patient. Put this in your, in your what translator, Google translator. Se paciente when you meet Lucas. Por favor. Am I outrageous? Obnoxious. He's just a tough guy. He's a shark in the sea. So, I um, mean, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, girls. At the end of the day, I heard your video. I know you guys have a point. Pero come over. Come to Tijuana. Come visit. Check it out on your own. And maybe we could probably, you know, get to know each other a little bit better. But some girls down here get something going with you girls. No, that sounds fun. Get something going with you girls. Lo que quieran, or whatever you guys want, you know? Yeah. Just in case you guys want to meet some girls. I mean, even some Mexican guys. I'll tell you, Mexican guys are very jealous. Am I jealous? You're not Mexican. Am I machista? Lucas is very open-minded. So he's willing to talk about everything he likes and just fuck everybody else. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Hey, you no. are what you are. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Pat, what's up? Tom W., what's up? Daniel, what's up? Sean, what's up? Matt, what's up? What's up, guys? Check this out. So, hey, guys, here's a question for you. All right, guys, smash that like button if you hadn't already done it, guys. 26, 26 likes, 51 people in the room. Smash that like and subscribe button. How many of you guys recognize this girl right here? How many of you guys recognize her? Talk to me right here. Make some comments in that comment section. How many guys? How many of you guys been to Tropical in the last, what, six months? Has anybody been around? It would be nice to have somebody new around the area. We'll see what they say. Lucas, me gusta tu gorra. ¿Dónde la compraste? Same place I bought the shirt. Was it like in La Plaza Cecilia? I've been to Tropical. They're not up to par. Let me tell you what I thought about Tropical the other day. I walked in Tropical the other day, guys. There's a lot of lesbian girls in Tropical. Have you noticed that? Yes. The girls with the short hair, the skinny nighttime, ass girls, yeah. nighttime, and the girls with the nose rings. What is with that shit? Guys, let me tell you this. If you want to have a threesome, now this is deep good advice right now. If you want to have a threesome at Tropical Hong Kong, Chicago Club, whatever, you got to find a girl that you have chemistry with, make her pick the other bitch out. That way they'll be into each other, okay? Don't You don't go making the choices. I think he has a point. Has of course a point. I have a point. Yeah. Same and you word. need to talk to the waiter, right? Talk to the waiter. Ask him, what, where's the machorras, right? <laughs> That's what you got to ask the waiter. Where's the machorras? And he'll tell you. And then, you know, let her pick the other girl out for sure. 100%. These nuts. I am a threesome is a waste of time and money and don't ever invoke the waiter. These, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you I know respect what? that. Mm-hmm. I've been to Tropical. These nuts, you've been busting my chops right here. I've been to Tropical. They're not up to par. There's a young girl from Puerto Vallarta about This 20. guy said rest in peace, Adelitas. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You're definitely right. Don't involve the waiter. They're like pimps. You know what? <laughs> These nuts, you know so goddamn much. Maybe you ought to get your own YouTube channel and show your face since you're the expert. Mm, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, let him talk about his experience because if he's talking about that, I'm pretty sure he has something to say. What should I say to get the $40 short tip? Guys, don't beat the girls up on the prices. And you tell the Brit girls this too. Don't beat the girls up on price because if she comes to you and she says, oh, $120, and you go, oh, well, you know, when you do it for $62, that's going to kill whatever fucking energy and effort. The vibe. You, it's going to kill it. Like, get the fuck out of here. If you can't afford 150 bucks, you don't need to be in Tijuana anyway. Take your ass back to the States to work. <laughs> you know, just jerk it for a but couple. But there's always those girls standing outside the bars, you know? Yeah, these nuts, I agree. They are asking 150 now at HK. That's true. That's fair. I, I mean, not bad. But who's this guy? You got to work on your stamina, my boy. There's always, there's always Viagra. In case you guys don't have enough stamina. Tropical starts the show in the evening. These nuts. Two months ago, they're asking 100. Well, I mean, like I said, guys, the biggest difference between Zona North Day now and 2024 and Zona North Day for the last 20 years is, is the price of pussy. It's higher than giraffe pussy now. I mean, <laughs> it's still higher than giraffe pussy. You like that? No money. I mean, these girls are asking crazy money, but I mean, you know, it's still – Way cheaper than you get in the States. It's better service. So and how much do you get for a woman in the States? So oh, I mean, it depends on where you're at. Four or five hundred bucks. Okay. Well, maybe I should work on getting my visa. Maybe I should work on getting my visa. I get the <laughs> okay. piss out of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So I feel better with my looks on. I think it's nice. Your looks? This is, was... this is Damaris with her looks, guys. You know, she's a... She's a homie girl with the sharpie eyebrows and probably spray paint your fucking street. See, corner. that's why the Brit girls talk shit about you, dude. And you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. I mean, she's like, well, I did grow up in East Los Angeles, you know. <laughs> I mean, I grew up with the treses. Talk to them. <laughs> but it has nothing to do with my life. Nothing to do with my life. But this guy wants to pretend he's ghost or Weddle, Casper. With his long socks and his Cortezes on, which I will love to see. And I'll post a picture up for you guys if you guys are willing to, you know, contribute with some likes. We'll post a picture of him with Cortezes. 
con una malla que diga Sur 13, perros. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. You know what her street name was, boys? Uh, yeah. Tell them, please. Meds. <laughs> yeah, but before that, it used to be like traviesa. traviesa. So back in the days, we used to speak this uh, language, which was Pig Latin. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. So, speak it to them. Tell them something. It's like Oaks may um say it way. But it used to be Travi, Avi Trey. But if you guys do speak Pig Latin, uh, Luke right here will benefit you guys with somewhat. What would you, what would you like to award your viewers with if they do speak Pig Latin? Uh, whatever you think they deserve. The whole world. The whole world. Let's see. So what do you think about the uh, the Brit Girls video overall? You invited them to Tijuana so they can experience firsthand the Zona Norte? That would be great. Then then we could all make a video and they could um, talk about what they think. Yeah, like a beautiful podcast. Mm -hmm. We'll see what they have. Hey, Brian, Marquez, she has a nice smile. She's a nice person. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Guys, this is your chance right here, guys. Any questions you want to ask to a working girl that speaks English, she's here to answer them for you. She'll give you an honest, good answer right here. Can you ask her about tropical feature quota? Who it what is it? Can you ask, ask her about tropical tropical feature quotas for the girls? Why are the girls getting such lax quotas compared to HK? Is there punishment if you don't meet your feature quota? Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. Based on my experience, I think oh, um, I think Hong Kong HK it's a little bit more strict than tropical. Tropical is just like more um, you go and work and do whatever you want. In tropical, I mean HK, you have to go and make a quota definitely. But when it comes down to features, I think features we all get the same. I think HK and tropical girls we get about the same money. I, which is about like 50 pesos. I think it's like two dollars and fifty cents, maybe around. How around many teachers do you have to get a day or a week? We don't have a quota in uh tropical. Tropical, uh, they don't have a quota. Uh -uh, we don't. How about this, guys? All these guys out there, all the Oshos and all the other intimidators, you know, intimidations. This is the real information right here, guys. You got a chick here. Yeah, pero no me vayan a crucificar, you know. I don't want them to crucify me. They're not gonna crucify you. <laughs> She's, uh, I was in the SD, I was in the zona tonight. John S., good to see you, ma'am. Why is she wearing a grandma t shirt for? Oh, you want me to take this off or what? You're not taking shit off, we'll get fucking demonetized. <laughs> mm. Yeah, is it bothering you? Would you like me to switch it to something else? I tell you what, dude, if you're talking about her grandma t shirt, um, why don't you put your picture up? We'll see what you look like in a t shirt. Mm -hmm. That's okay, though. She won't be wearing anything very shortly. <laughs> Remember, guys, Luke is talking out of his butt, but he's being really honest. I thought the only thing that comes out of my ass was explosive diarrhea after I ate the That's beans. That's grease. Talk about my friend grease. Well, after, <laughs> after the beans that you cooked? Oh, no. I'm encantan. I love beans, guys. But beans are, like, super freaking – it's just air. When you eat beans, you're just eating bear. I mean, air. Air? Yes. So it's like inside your stomach. Does it smell bad? When you eat old beans, yeah. But I don't even know why we're talking about this. This is so embarrassing. I just realized that um, you got to take care of your stomach, guys. So please don't eat beans when you come to Tijuana. And this is a nice restaurant. Luke, Luke, you pay the women for company. Don't start talking crazy. Well, you know, you... You might pay the women for company at the club, true, because they're working. But, you know, are you not paying your wife for company? I always said something, guys. I always said the most expensive pussy is free pussy, right? You might get it free at the house. But you're paying her health insurance. You're paying her seguro. You're paying her car. You're paying all her food, her expenses. It's not free. Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever done that for a girl? Yeah, of course. I mean, did your last boyfriend pay for all your shit? Yeah, he was pretty much paying for everything. <laughs> but it was not enough. It was not enough. I think it was everybody wants more. Every girl at Sona Norte wants more. Every girl wants more. Right. It's never mm -hmm. enough. Uh-uh. 
But this guy was like, is there a pool at Tropical? Yes, there is a pool. I do not recommend it based on my own experience. I don't even think it's clean. Did you shit in that pool? No, of course not. But I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of like drunk people that pee in it. But, but, but you cannot believe me unless you go try it on on your own. Adelita's is not coming back. You can forget that shit. Adelita's. Were you on in that in that what is it in Adelita's? Uh clients? black black Baja tours. I agree with you. Guys, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. Smash the fuck out of that like and subscribe button. There's 42 likes and there's 76 people in the room. Let's get this going. So did you say la Adelita's más que el Hong Kong or Chicago? That was an Adelita guy. I love that Adelita. What about Chicago? Chicago school. Tropical. The older I get, the more I like Chicago. Okay. Tropical, um, tropical is right now, you know, HK is is the best as far as you know, the most girls and the, the prettiest girls. And right now, you know, you got Chicago and Tropical trading places, you know, second and third place every every um every week. It just depends. Um you know, Tropical's more of a Mexican, more of a Paisa type club, in Get my the opinion. Fuck out of here, really? Oh, I my own idea, I think Chicago's is like a black environment. Well, not like maybe like a black environment. But hey, know. all right, guys. Questions for working girls. Smash that fucking like button and shoot these questions her way. All right, can you ask if she's ever been with guys that are on way too many drugs? How would she know? Are guys getting kicked out because they were way too fucked up? Do people get kicked out of the club? I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen at La Carreta. Um, people be getting too tweaked out. Uh, you know, that fed on shit that be going down sometimes. So just be careful wherever you guys consume any type of, like, estupefaciente. I'm not uh, banned from any clubs right now. Were you ever banned from any club? I got banned from HK. ¿Por qué? I got in a fight with this bitch and her boyfriend was a security guard. Preference. Preference, yeah. Oh. I guarantee you, though, she gave me more blowjobs than she gave him. <laughs> that's, okay. oh, uh, that's why she Can you give out the name? The, uh, no. Oh, that sucks. Uh huh. So, anyways, can you say the upstairs pool? Um, pool. W Stream. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys, come on. Shoot these questions right here. 80 people in the room right now. Questions for a working girl. Don't be afraid to give her a super chat or a donation, guys, because we're going to do a real interview. This is just a like a prerequisite to the interview, right? We're going to interview her and talk about how she came from East L.A. down to Mexico and how her life has evolved and her plans for the future. Cállate, <laughs> right? Let's talk about this, guys. Come on. So shoot it. She guys, this is your chance. Any question you want to ask her respectfully, she'll give you an honest answer. See, there you go. Pierre said kiss. That way the Brit girls cannot say that you're rude. Respectfully. Keyword. There we go. It's foozle for you. Big dog Daniela and Valerie are still asking about you from the Chicago Club. Valerie is in Guadalajara. Daniela's in Alemania, Germany. Can I have a bottle, please? Yeah, you can have a bottle. Have any goddamn thing you want. Okay, maybe I'll do Yahweh. JB says, what days does she work in tropical? Uh, Luke 60, she's 35. Nah, you're wrong both ways. I am starting to get these wrinkles right here, especially with, like, I, my ass is fat now, you know. But... Collateral, you see? So, todos sus viewers que te miran, todos ellos hablan español también o solamente hablan inglés? How many, if you guys speak Spanish, type me in the comment section right now. Or make some Mexican questions, like some real typical Mexican questions. Y'all, Mike, I Mike. said y'all need Jesus, but how much for two, <laughs> how much for two girls at the same time? <laughs> uh, depends on the girl. Thanks for that super chat, Mike. I appreciate the fuck out of it, man. You want to do this? <laughs> yeah. I am God in my... Well, God lives in me. God lives in you. Yes. Really? That's awesome. So anyways, yeah. Uh, what else? 
Hey, right here. Do they have the girls from other country, countries in these clubs? Yo hablo poquito. Ah, qué bonito. That's an eff that's effort. We like energy. Positive energy. ¿Qué más? <laughs> if you speak Spanish at HK and pay in pesos, can you get a better deal? What do you, what would you tell someone who goes to your club? Should they pay in pesos or dollars? I think dollars. I do too. I think dollars is better. Sometimes they get the pesos too low or even too high. Yep. Just go in dollars all the way. Now the street girls are definitely peso girls. Porque son bien pendejas. Y, God. <laughs> and, and they just. Censor these brick girls. It's Fuzio for you. Said I took her upstairs last weekend. Who are you talking about there? Who are you talking about? Mm, not me. He said, don't get Walter a hundred billion. I'll give you a fake dollar back. Be careful with that, guys. Everything's so safe out here. Don't give away to a hundred dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. It depends on where you go. But like I always said, guys, as long as you keep it in the HK, the Tropical, the Chicago, the Adelina Bar, you keep it in those big four, you know, you're going to be okay. I miss Monterey. Monterrey. Monterrey, I heard it's cracking too. Would you ever like to work at a legal brothel in Nevada? Would you ever like work in Vegas at a legal Illegal brothel. Illegal. Okay, so Illegal. brothel is like a house, right? Look, would you work like a regular a, house where they have a bunch of rooms and girls work for like the lady or a man? Yeah, but it's legal and it's big money in Vegas. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. But pues, no, not right now. Guys, shoot the questions to this girl right here. Hit that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. So I'm thinking, should I go with my hair like blonde? Not blonde, but maybe like a lighter brown. Or should I leave it like this, guys? I think you should pull it back. Again, I don't mind that either. <laughs> Let's go to Columbia Luke. Yeah, there's one and a half hour outside Vegas. Yeah, hit hit those harder, doggy style guys. El Paso. Uh, El Paso, Texas. I like the Joker Club over in Ciudad Juarez. Let us see her curves. Nah, you can't see her curves tonight. You can see her curves in person. Yes, I just got my body. She just up. got her uh, liposuction done, so she's kind of in recovery right now. With a lipectomy. So, yeah, we've got a nice waist. It's going to get better. Doing it, but it's already amazing. Hey, get away. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What up, brother? It's been a while, Mar Rob. What's going on? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Guys, come on now. Uh, we're going to wrap this up pretty quick tonight. We're not going to stay on a, a long time. It's, it's not like the old times. Um, I've been so working late. Did you talk about the British girls again? Um, we love the British we girls. Love the British I girls. love them. You know, they're and so fucking right. When they, whatever they had to say about him, they're right. They're right. Yeah, they but are. Did you also have other things to say about me? But then Luke is saying the truth. He's yeah, he's right. So whatever they had to say, it's their point of view. But Luke is right. We all expect better. Like when we're young, we expect probably ten percent. When we get old, we expect a hundred percent all this fucking time, guys. Yeah, por curiosidad me gusta. Me da ganas a tropical y verla. Oh, uh, see, come visit, come visit, guys. Well, I mean, the thing with the British girls, we invited them down here to Tijuana, Mexico, and I think that it's good that we sit down and we have a conversation, the four of us, and we talk about, you know, the pros and cons of um, of the legal working girls versus the. <laughs> You but know, everything's legal. Everything's, everything's legal. legal. Yes. Cody K. I don't want to stay at Hotel in Hong Kong, but the cheap girls is possible. If I go to Hong Kong and walk up, how much without buying a drink? Ooh. Okay, guys, let me tell you something right now. All right, guys, let me put it to you this way. And my girl, Linda D here, she will tell you that I'm right. The cheapest way to go to Zona Norte is to walk in the club, walk up to the hottest girl there, 
Don't get into conversation with her. Don't buy her a drink. Don't get her Facebook. Pay her money. Take her upstairs. <laughs> smash, dash, leave, be done. When you start taking it to other levels, you start drinking with her, you know, eating with her, leaving the bar with her. That's when it gets very, very, very expensive. And that's where you're going to get hurt, too, also. Unless you're just. You it know, can happen, yes, of course. Unless you're just a pro like me, and then you know, and like the marriage, the marriage, right? You just wind up in situations like this. <sighs> keep you know, going. Keep going. Uh huh. All right, let me see what they got. To say. But let me give you guys some fucking tips right now, guys. Eighty-one people in the room, smash that fucking like and subscribe button, guys. Here's a deal about a working girl. If you want to know, if you're talking to the working girl, right? How do you get to know her? How do you get in her head? How do you break that barrier between professional girl and her actually being your real friend, your girlfriend, your friends with benefits? Let me tell you how to do this. All right, guys. Number one, first and foremost, you start talking to her. You tell her right off the bat because there's got to be chemistry, right? Hey, babe, check this out. What's your name? I don't want your working name. Guys, her name's not Mercedes. It's not Destiny. It's not Star. <laughs> it's not fucking Bentley. It's not Luna. Chardonnay. Luna. It's not Chardonnay. It's it's nothing. You know, if it's if it's astrology to do with the stars or named after a fucking car like Chrysler or Bentley, Ferrari, it's all bullshit. It's named after a whiskey, Chardonnay. It's all bullshit, right? Check this out. Get her real name, and it's probably <laughs> something like Maria Guadalupe, or <laughs> you know. Well, mine is Linda Demaris. Hers guys. is Linda yeah. Demaris, right? So, oh, all right. So hold on one second, guys. So, life, anyways, my life, not no, you're good. Oh, sh sh <laughs> Why do you just work out? Get a little different jam fraction of the price. Please go to the lady's name is Richard, who lives in Tijuana. He is passing oh. the virus. All right, so. So check this out, guys. All right, yes. So you're gonna get her. You're gonna get her fucking name and her real Facebook first, right? That's the first thing you gotta get. If she won't give you her name and her real Facebook, you got nothing, and that's fine. You know what? Send her ass down the road. Go get another one. That's number one. Number two. Never, ever, ever, ever pay her to go upstairs. When you pay her to go upstairs, you're a customer. And that's all you'll ever be. It's going to cost you more money to. Okay. So I have one of your subscribers go visit. Mm -hmm. Esteban. Shout out to this man. He said, well, you just mentioned. There's nothing wrong with being a client or being a friend. Mm -mm. It's just business, guys. You guys go down there. You guys want to see a girl look pretty. You guys have to invest. That's it. That's right. You know, whether if you're her friend, whether if you want to take her out to eat. Ryan Mendoza says, I know Linda. <laughs> wow. Who the hell? No, you don't know me. But if you do, tell me what's up. Hit me up on my Facebook, Linda Damaris. <laughs> hey, where's my commission off of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. We've so, got a few things going on, but go ahead. No. So, guys, that's the thing here. And you got to understand, there's nothing wrong with being a client. And you're still getting out way cheaper. You can still come down to Tijuana, even though prices has gone up. You can still come down here and smash, you know, for 150 bucks, 200 bucks, and which is cheaper than you're gonna take a bitch out in San Diego in a gas lamp. See, that's what that's what the girls don't like, the brick girls. You don't have to express yourself as a bitch. Well, I'm just saying you can. The truth is, we have can, to give them a name. If you were not to give them the bitch name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how do they say you? Sluttiness. You tart. <laughs> I'll just call him Jezebel. How about that? Yeah. Oh, pronounce Damaris in a proper Tijuana accent, por favor. Uh, that would be Damaris with the accent in the second A. Damaris. No, with the, in the first A, sorry. Taylor made man, law dog. It helps if you're in decent shape, with good hygiene. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. No girl wants to be with some guy that smells like shit. And most of these um, Zona girls, they're they're clean freaks, bro. They're all about fucking taking a shower and baby wipes and all that stuff. I mean, you could perceive when somebody's not clean. What does this say? Man, that's what I was thinking. If, a, if not a girl without a visa, you can't bring them to the USA. At Tropical, I can still get broads for 60 to 80 bucks. 
Guys, you can still get girls for 80 bucks. My guys, thanks for the fucking super chat, guys. Everything's going to D. By the way, guys, let me tell you this. After our interview, I'm just going to tell you right now, we're going to do a live interview, and we're going to be taking questions from everybody. This is the first video. This is the first, hey, how are you doing? Um, Linda D. here is going to have another surgery. She's going to have a uh, cleanup on the liposuction and a boob job, and this channel is going to raise $1,600 for her. So, we'll have that to happen. Yeah, it is going to happen. And um, I'm going to match every dollar that's donated with a dollar. And uh, if you fuckers don't pony up, I'm going to have to pay for it all anyway. Please, guys, manifest. <laughs> Please, guys, manifest some happiness. But anyway, you know, guys, that's going to be a couple for months me. away, and we're going to get it done. Um, just like Miss Venezuela. Do you guys remember Miss Venezuela, the girl that we imported from fucking Venezuela? Pues hay importaciones de carros. Hay importación de putita. 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 <laughs> I love working there. I'm not gonna lie. Why do but you? I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's a shitty ass fucking place. I during do not COVID, fucking like it. During COVID, we and it will so rob every cent of you because I don't like it anymore. No, she but they're has, happy. They're good. I like Pierre it. says you have a very impressive resume. Oh, <laughs> guys, you guys don't even know me. Like, just during, follow me on my Facebook, guys. D- during listen. During COVID, we smoked at the club when you were a waiter, Linda. Oh, my God. Damn it. Another motherfucking. Oh, I would right. say, like, oh, what? Super punch. Guys, guys, right here. We got some donations going right here. Ryan Mendoza. I'm going to show me some love, please. I'm trying to get a retouch. And press like and share to your friends, please. Guys, seriously, any questions you got for this girl right here, let us know. 71 people in the room, 67 likes. We're going to stay on for probably about eight more minutes. Give me some more likes. Do you recommend escorts? No, I don't recommend escorts, guys. Here's the thing. Well, I have my own point of view. Well, if you meet somebody at the bar and you decide to go out with her, then that would be an escort, right? No, it's not an escort. Por qué? Because that's a bar girl. Better you're going out with her outside work. So uh, she's like an escort. She was a bar girl originally. And that has nothing to do with you calling her an escort once you take her out of work. Yeah, well, so I believe I might be wrong. She is wrong, guys. And let me explain why. To his point of um, view. An escort, you're going to call the number off of Craigslist. You can get a fucking he, she, or you're going to get somebody you don't know. You're going to get some girl to pick you up in a taxi. You're going to go down the road and her boyfriend's <laughs> going to rob the fucking no, shit out of you. Listen, wait, wait. If you're in the tropical bar of the HK or the Chicago club, the girl has protection, and you have protection. Right. And it's safe. Whatever he said, guys. Tortas with baby fat. Tortas with baby fat. Okay. Law dog. We'll get Linda. you whatever you want. Hey, Law Dog says, Linda, is it a difficult job? My only thing is making sure the girls are okay. Usually, most of the time, girls are okay. Everybody's the money making accent, she needs to shut up and let you talk. <laughs> uh, he must be a... What? Machista? How would you say machista in English? Macho. Macho, man. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like this guy should just shut the fuck up and yeah. keep his comments to himself. How do you feel? Um, God bless him, too. Make me a drink. What's the magic word? Ahora. <laughs> no. no. Por <laughs> Yes, I can. I got you, bro. Pero el otro güey, ok, eso me gustó el güey que dice que fumamos mota, cuando fumamos mota me gustaría, no sé, tener algún tipo de alineamiento contigo para volverte a seguir oh, la pista. Oh, 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 Harris, 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 guys, attention please right now, my number one subscribers in the fucking room, oh, Mr. Harris, uh, yeah, yeah, Linda says as long as he's not fighting with you, that is not <laughs> true. Go along with him. And the reason why I like Harris and the reason why he's the number one subscriber is because he keeps me on my game. And when I'm dog shit, he tells me I'm dog shit. But when I haven't gone live in a month, Harris calls me up and says, hey, man, you're fucking garbage. Osho wow. and John420, they're going live and you're a piece of shit. He keeps me on my game. My dog, Harris, 
Harris, I will be here tomorrow night. Um, so is that one of the things when, like, when they say haters keep you famous? Harris keeps me High famous. High five, man. High five. Anyways. Sean, Sean Banks. Yo, Sean Banks. What's up, man? De que que me, uh, me. Uh, soy de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Guanatos. Um, if you guys ever met Guanatos, it's like the biggest, nicest city in Guadalajara. El Mil Amores Bar. Ay. Vamos. Ay. What did you do there? What did you do there? What did you do? Positivo, what you do? Hey, what? Hey, expat. What did she do at the Mil Amores Bar? You tell I me. I made some money. Ooh. I made pretty good money there. Now, now she's, now she's. I was a waiter there for like two weeks before I got my surgery. It went very well for me. I think working there was like the shit, but there's a bunch of drug addicts. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Milo, that's, just let a woman talk and she'll tell on herself. What do you do at Milo Mortis Bar? I made some money. I was being very positive, guys. Very fucking positive. Guys, I brought this girl. She's a diamond in the rough. She really is. She is a fucking just amazing person. <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah. Were you worried about me being disrespectful? We'll let the brick girls talk about that. How about that? So I'm backing you up, bro. I love the brick girls. God bless you, girls. You would beat their ass for me, though, wouldn't you? No, I'll let my girls or the band, the whole shit, take care of them. But that has to do. Patan, Jalisco, Lopez. In a huevo. <laughs> <laughs> Question for you, girl. Are most HK girls into drugs? That's a tough question, guys. It's a very tough question. I can't speak upon <sighs> everybody, pero, pero, pero. HK girls. HK, HK girls, I think they get drug tested or something like that. Let me tell you guys about the girls in Zona Norte in the drug scene. I'm going to talk about three places right here. HK, Chicago, Tropical. Right, qualified to answer this. Um, of course, you're going to have a small percentage of girls that are drug addicts. You're going to have most girls, though, they're money addicts. They're in this deal for the money. Now, they're party girls. Yes. Will they smoke a joint? Yeah. Will they do a line or two? Yeah. Hardcore drug addicts wake up, need the shit every day, all the time. That cabrón. Not too many. Because they're so dedicated to work. They have a schedule. They have features. They have quotas. They have customers. They're just they're yeah. They're There's part a few of other bars for like girls that are very committed to being the drug addicts. Yeah, like mm, I wouldn't want to say it's it now. But La Carreta is one of them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, this girl's awesome. He says, "Yeah, she's awesome, man." I mean, uh, thank you, guys. Every 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 girl I've ever brought on my channel has been top notch and awesome, trustworthy. You don't have to worry about a fucking thing. I'm very positive, guys. Daniel so Teachman. The best upon everybody. Daniel Teachman, man, law dog. What's going on? Tell her drop the name of the druggy bars. <laughs> where, where are all the drug bitches with? Uh, can I drop them down? Yeah, sure. Can I? May I? Yeah. Am I going to get banned from the zone? Of course not. Everybody's super cool because they're all my friends. I grew up with everything, with everybody, with every of them. Oh, como lo diría? Crecí con la gente. So I just don't recommend La Carreta. Personally, I have my own personal connection with them. I love La Carreta. I, was, I grew up in La Carreta. I learned how to walk on heels because of La Carreta. Honestly, it's not the place where it's I recommend It's not the place to be, boys. That's why, I, that's why I tell you guys stay out of there. I tell you where to go, guys. HK, Honestly. Tropical, Chicago. I've seen some shy shit happen there. Four places, guys. And I tell you. Only got no. I tell you guys. The, now I'm telling you guys. The so best thing you can do. Line. Before you go to Tijuana, is you walk into the bar, you walk up to the hottest girl there, the one that you like, you pay her, you take her upstairs, smash, dash, and leave. But you guys could be friends. Don't just believe what he says, because I know he's right. I know he's right. Is that Whatever the cheapest he, way to go? No features? You could be good friends. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you're right. But you guys can make good friends down here in Tijuana by, you know, meeting girls in the bars. I think that's a possibility you guys can let go of. Really? So, I'm telling them how to save money, though. La Carreta is an experience. Oh, my God, dude. You guys don't even know how I, how much I love working at La Carreta. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I I took fly on a few girls, and they took fly on me. So, I grew up there. It's just very ghetto. Them? It's very ghetto. It's super ghetto. Daniel Teachman, man, what the fuck's up? 
Daniel Teachman with a $10 donation right here. God this bless is going him. to Linda D's fucking boob job. <laughs> Cheese. Oh, rico. He says, I know nobody believed me, but the $200 days are here and the girls getting smarter. 404 guys. So no. Yes, we are, man. Yes, we are. Well, you know, they are guys, but I'm going to tell you what. Um, yeah, yeah baby. like I said, the price of pussy's gone up. A little bit, yeah, most of the time. It's dumb. It depends. If a girl invests this money on herself, is that the word? Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, then she's probably going to charge a little bit more, you know? So it all depends on how you see a girl, your perceptive, and the girls. It's Fuzzle for you. Look alike. Who'd you smash last weekend? Was it Linda D? Guys, smash, I wish. That, smash that <laughs> like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> he wishes. Mexico. Right? Guys, smash that like button if you hadn't already done it. We're about even with likes and the people in the room. Sean, thanks. Hey, okay, so before he says anything else, if you guys are watching, please, can you guys hit a like? And then follow me on Facebook. Um, I'm on the, under Linda Damaris, and I should be the first one you guys find when you guys look for me. Linda Damaris, please. I sometimes post videos, and I delete and them because I don't it? like no fucking evidence. What is it, about 20 bucks? About 20 bucks, yeah. Uh, Once, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that to myself, but yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, how was I like you, Lucas? You're so cool. Oh, she likes it. Fucking okay. alcohol, man. So, hey, <laughs> um, what was your I know you were a little bit worried about me being disrespectful and my channel being disrespectful, mm -hmm. but what do you, um, hey, right here, boys, you want to know her? You want to know her fucking Facebook? It's right here. Check it out. I think you're very nice, but I've seen a few of your other videos, and I believe you're a little bit. Las jóvenes ya no van a desmadre. Es bien falta. Este güey le vale madre. Este güey le vale madre. Do I falta the respect though? He even smokes weed, guys. Can you believe this? Like, le vale madre. But then he says he can't smoke because of his job. So I don't know if I should believe him or not, but we'll leave that to the I air. will vote for Luke over Donald Trump. Nice. Would you vote for me? I never voted in my life, but I probably would. Mm -hmm. Trump 2024. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. I think Donald Trump is not that bad. He's right in a lot of his, like, ideas or uh, what, what? how would I say it, whatever. But Exposal for you. Fuck him, too. Susan, for you, Luke's the coolest white man on the planet. Hey, like dog. Mexicans. Hey, Fuzzle, for you. I got a, I got a job for you in North Dakota, man. Um, I know what you do. 35 bucks an hour. Unlimited hours. <sighs> Luke para el gobernador de Baja California. <laughs> <laughs> no mames. Oh my god, no mames. Linda no Day. Pero le gustaría so, a Luke participar para ser gobernador de Mexico. Do you ever gamble, Luke? Oh yeah, all the time. I gamble. Linda D, let me ask you, Luke is the greatest path for yeah, I'm the greatest. Yeah, well. I am guys. And, and you know, I want to apologize for not Daniel Teachman right there. Thanks for the fucking donation right there. Bank the bottles, man. <laughs> Just a public announcement for the guys who thinks they can take the girls out of this life and be better friends. Don't even try this. Girls make more you less. Okay, so dice que está pagando 20 dólares para decir a todos los hombres que no empieces a ser amigos con las viejas en todo el norte que va a que te va a hacer daño. Don't be toxic. Are you toxic? <laughs> Fucking no, I'm not toxic. I'm positive. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you the advice that I give you, it, it's not do what I do, okay? This right here is 20 fucking years of, of fucking experience. Me cae bien este way. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you guys some shit. I got a fucking, I'm going to show you guys something right here. I got a message today from the first putita that I knew way back in the day. And she right said, on Mendoza, if you're still watching. And she said, hey, she show said. Me some love. Guys, check this picture of me out. She said, today I moved. And I found a picture of you. This was when I was playing college baseball, guys, in South Texas. She said, I found a picture of you and a love letter. <laughs> I'm better now. <laughs> right here. Right here. Look at that. 
Look at that fucking stud right there. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah. And she, you know, so mm -hmm. back when I was 18, I was dating this girl that was 24, and she was a fucking stripper hooker mm -hmm. on the border. And she was awesome. And so, you know, don't do what I do. Do what I tell you to do. And when I tell you to do this, guys, you do it. Don't get her Facebook. Don't get to know her. Smash dash. Don't buy her no fucking drinks. Everything whatever Ryan doesn't do. Everything that I don't do. Yeah. Man. That will make you get further in life here in Tijuana. <laughs> here in Tijuana. Ito? Ito what about you? Puto. 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 What? You call me what? Call me puto, but I'm in I'm your house. I'm a major slut. <laughs> I'm a major slut. All right. I'm hold kidding. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a good friend, uh, guys. It's, it's Puzo for friend. you. You make 36 in San Diego right now, but I can guarantee you $100 a week. How about that? How about that, man? No college degree, local truck driver. It's Puzo to you, bro. I mean, how's, you know, $120,000 a fucking year? And you're only working, uh, you know, seven or eight months a year. Anyways, guys. Let's stay positive, please. Let's hear some positive shit up in this bitch. Nada más, se está poniendo peda, güey. Porrita. Güey, voy a querer otra botella. No. No, no, no. Fuck yeah, so I'm talking about Daniel teaching. When I lost my V-card. Baby, can you lick that off my table? I can lick that off of whatever you got, baby. Keep that thing. No How about that? Put, no. put some coke in my drink, please. También. Daniel oh, Teachman oh. says, guys, Daniel Teachman, thank Hold you on, for the yeah. super chat, guys. Anything you want, it's going to Linda D tonight. She's answering all your questions, and she's she's really just an amazing person. When I first met her, she came up to me, and she was speaking English, and I was like, you know what? Was I rude? <laughs> it was just being a nickel bar. Nickel bar? What the fuck does that mean? Low cheap. Cheap. Yeah, know, with your attitude. With my bad, was it a bad attitude? It wasn't a horrible attitude, bro. It was like, fuck you. What did I tell you? I'll buy you one. You know what? Most of the time when people are very rude in Mexico and they're white boys is because they got mental issues. We'll leave it as that. You think I have mental issues? You you think so? Yeah. No more than I you. Think you're uh, my mental issues are very like basic. We'll leave it as that. But there yet, I'll say once again, Luke is a fucking shark. What do you think about um, Malquerida? Malquerida, Malquerida me gusta, me encanta, me fascina, pero la neta, la neta, you would not be taken care of in there. You could just go all out and you know you'll lose everything. Going line hall in a bit, getting the race, drink some meat and bar. But I love my querida. I love him too. God bless them all. Well, Fuzzle, for you, all I can tell you, homeboy, if I you're not your making birds. fucking 2500 a week, you're screwing the pooch. Love the duo. Yeah. Guys, let's uh, talk right here again. Smash that like button if you hadn't already done it. We're going to be online for another seven minutes. Anybody wants to give a donation to Linda D here, we'll take it. <laughs> yes. Um, Guys, we got an English-speaking working girl right here on the fucking line. And we're going to do an interview, a live interview with her, Ryan Mendoza. Bank de Barros. Thanks for smoking. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> send me a friend request on Facebook. I got you, boy. Go visit me at Tropical. We'll definitely keep up with this once we go upstairs. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, guys, here's the deal, Thank man. You. Um, For real. Any questions you got, and this is my channel, is, is about helping everybody. And, you know, any questions you got from Linda D, ask her. I mean, she's she's here to help, and, and so am I. And I, have, oh, I can't believe I smoked this guy out. Hold on. Get out of my face. <laughs> and, and you know what, guys? I can tell you this right there. Um, already a friend. He's already your friend. I like him. He said I smoked him out. He must be my friend. Dumb. I don't just smoke anybody out, but I like him too. He's my friend. Oh, Ryan, friend. you're the fucking shit. And if Stevan is looking at this, Stevan, you're my, you're my fucking friend. You know what, guys? 
Can I video session with you? Yeah, yeah, you'll do you'll do video chats for an extra buck, right? Of course. Guys, Linda D is the shit, and I tell you right now. Um, I can't believe I met Chola Carreta. Damn it! Did we smoke like upstairs, or where did, did we smoke? That Can we talk ass? about that? Did you beat that bitch's ass at the Carreta? Uh, I think I took her down to the office and I locked myself in there with her, and something like that went down. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, guys, have it, have it. No, guys, seriously speaking, we got five minutes left in this, and I'll just tell you this. Um, my Zona Norte work, my Tijuana work is, it's for you guys. And Linda's going to give you her opinions. I'm going to give you my opinions. And obviously, and I the think, Brit girls could give her own opinions. And the Brit girls can give her own opinions. But, you know, the bottom line is, um, she has her point of view. I have my point of view. The Brit girls have their point of view. But it's all to promote Zona Norte, to promote Mexico. You should come down here and you should have fun. You should support the girls. You should spend some money. You have a good time. It needs to be a mutual beneficial relationship. Wait, I'm trying to fit in my two fingers. My A and two fingers. Because we're too. all ET. My two fingers. Can you be like sure of them? I can be sure of them. Mm. Mm. Anyways, Luke is just going out of his way. But yeah, go ahead. No. No, yeah. What are you trying to do? Nothing. What are Got you trying to do? Don't even look at me that way. Okay, he's just trying to end the uh, video with this. But he's gonna go home right now. So guys, God bless him. Guys, we got bless four him. we got four minutes left. And uh shoot the um shoot the questions for four minutes. Linda D right here. Need to go to Deja Vu? No, you don't. Zone North is better. Deja Vu is pretty cool. There's not a lot of girls in there. But they're all beautiful. Jose Pepe said, uh they should cut the price on the beer at the girls. Yeah, I agree. The feature is, is too expensive. You know what? What pisses me off about, about the feature is that you pay $11 and only like fucking three goes to the girl. The bitch should be making five, six dollars, half minimum. But you could always tip them aside. Hey, you can. Daniel Teachman appreciates fucking Daniel. Hey, man, why don't you tell us about your HK experience? What happened to that girl when you went out with her and you got sick on the beach or whatever? Do you ever still talk to that bitch? <laughs> what happened? Did you, did you get diarrhea? <laughs> Explosive diarrhea? It was explosive. The worst okay. experience of his life. <laughs> no, mommy. I'm serious. Yeah, but mommy. she wrapped saran wrap around her face, and he took a shit on her. Horrible. <laughs> Whatever. So, guys, shoot questions for Linda D right here. Guys, go visit me at Tropical. I'm such a nice person and definitely willing to know your story. She's a good girl, and you should definitely um, – Help her, Aww. but hold her responsible. Can you say, can you read this all out for me, please? I don't have Luke, my glasses, you're the greatest so. of all time. Put them on. No. Linda, do the waiters get tips from the girls when they take a guy upstairs? Mm, I like to be nice with my waiters because I like to treat them. So I sometimes treat them. But you don't have to. You don't have to do it all the time. Is so she, if you want is to. she working tomorrow? Hey, it's fuzzle for Only you. Only if I align them with my thoughts. It's it's. Are you neutered, Luke? Am I neutered? Are you neutered? No, we're gonna have a kid next in nine months, right? We're gonna have like satisfaction and positivity within the next couple of months. Yeah. It's fuzzle for you. Did you go to um, Escobar? That's your fucking name. I, I know your name with your screen name. <laughs> Escobar, did you go upstairs with her? No. Francisco, the waiter, is a cool cat. God bless Francisco. May God bless him with a bunch of tips. Go ahead. What days are you working? Oh, I work weekends. I go to school sometimes on Saturday, so I don't go to Daniel work. Daniel Teachman, so that's, yeah. that's that fucking gambling goddamn Fucking car dealing fool, I know. Appreciate the super chat all the way. Guys, anybody else out there, don't let Daniel be number one. At least fucking, you know, give Linda D a donation here. We got to buy some tits. We got to do a retouch. We got to do some stuff for the girl right here. <laughs> She's an English-speaking, working girl. Any questions you got, any advice you need, she'll give to you. Right. I'll be your friend. The son of woo, 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 woo. I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> and 
You know what? This guy asked a great question. I'm going to be respectful about this. Oh, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Um, how many men is an average Friday or Saturday night? Hey, it could, it depends on the girl. Sometimes the girls won't do more than one or two. Some girls will do like more than 10, girl, 10 guys, five guys. Personally, it depends on how I feel, but it depends on those numbers I just gave you. So anywhere between two and ten. Depends. Depends. So it could be five. We'll keep it as that. Okay. Keep it as five. So okay, you go upstairs with five guys. How many of those five guys? And can I ask you some in-depth shit right now? A ver, pregúntame lo que tú quieras. You don't have to answer anything. I'm I'm gonna ask you and you can skip the question like like the TV show or go. So um if you go upstairs with 10 guys over a week. 10 guys over a week. Yeah, okay. over a week. How many of those 10 guys can actually, actually screw? Mm, maybe out of 10 guys, maybe seven of them. Three of them will be like, oh, I don't even want to talk about the insights, right? But um, maybe seven of them. Okay. Then how many of them can last more than five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it depends. Some of them are precocious. I don't know how you say that in English, mm -hmm. but um, they just bust really quick. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah. how many of the seven bust really quick? I would say probably three of them. Four three, of them. three or four. So there's three guys a week that can actually. But I don't really want to talk about that because the no. big girls would no, not no, want to no, hear no, this. No, no, so no, no, I'm no. definitely right if we change the fucking subject. So 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 no, I'm. You go do that, but just answer this question first, and then I'm going to talk to these guys. Let's keep it going. You come back. So mm -hmm. out, of the, out of the ten guys, you know, three can do nothing for you. Seven are pre-com, so they can't do shit. So you only get your back blown out four times in fucking a week? It could be. Could be? Could be an option. All right, could be an option. Go, 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 go to the restroom. You know what, motherfuckers? What's going on, boys? We ain't changing nothing. Guys, shoot a few donations out here. If you haven't done a chat, give her a super chat here and there. We got to buy this girl set of tips. Boy, Ben, fuck yeah. Oh, she's amazing. I'm in her house, too. I'm about to blow the fucking back out of this bitch like you ain't never seen. What are you laughing about, Damaris? Oh, I like Raymond Dolder. Tell me what you're talking about. Whatever we did when we came over here, we did it together. Raymond Dolder says, send Linda a pic of her messenger of her high. Oh, I know Raymond Dolder. Now you're joking. Oh, my God. She's totally just working that shit on the toilet right now. She can't stand it. Where's Arana? Linda. Where's Arana? Arana is working at Arana. Good Friday, good Friday. Man, guys, it's great to see everybody. 85 people in the room. Smash that fucking like button. If you hadn't already smashed it, I'm pissed off, guys. 85 people in the room, 85 likes. The likes have to outweigh the fucking people in the room or the shit don't count. Smash that fucking like button if you hadn't already done it. Yes, that would be like the best recommendation. Because here's the deal, boys. Here she is. Linda D. Hermosa Chula. So how is your... I like your, Ryan Mendoza because I like your, Ryan Mendoza. You like him, huh? He sent you a message on Messenger. You like him. Did he? Yeah. I was stupid. Really? Que dijo? 360 turn girl. No, she don't do that just yet. Guys, she's in recovery. She She's really just doing this because... She just had surgery and she's in bad shape and she's just coming out of it. Yes, guys, she's definitely right. I think best thing you guys could do is go visit me now so you guys can see my results later. Ryan, can you smile and talk to your people, please? What do you want me to tell them? Tell them how amazing has been your experience from Wednesday to Thursday to Friday today. 
Well, anything with you has been spectacular. Cállate, no seas mamón, güey. And you know, I think we really should wait before we do anything and get to know each other better. Did you just say in this live, guys? Yeah, I did. What do you guys think about this? Like, this guy is just super cool. I like him. He's the shit. I never <laughs> had nothing to do with this guy. I just like him. I like his, like, positivity. But I'd rather just but listen she's, to him. She's very passive-aggressive. And she... Ooh, ooh, oh, hey, Mendoza! I see your message now. Hold on, give me a second. What is the fucking knee? Oh, no. The, My oh, phone just oh. froze, dude. I was trying to go into your message and it just automatically froze. So let me clear all. Let me reopen it again. Pierre says, I'm not going to lie if I micro penis. What do you think about guys with big dicks, small dicks? Whoa, bro! We have a picture together. Oh, I like this guy. You like him? Yeah! Oh, my God! Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Oh, I don't think you guys can see, like, every little... Um, Ryan Mendoza, I'll split, I'll split the girl with you, and you split the price with me. No, uh, Ryan, you're just... You're just... You're just... You were the chosen one. Thank you. You've been Thank watching you. Hollywood movies, haven't you? Um, it's just um, Disney Channel. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so happy you sent me a message. No, I'm not following. Absolutely not. Oh I'm my god, you're the fucking shit, bro. I just remembered you now. Mm. That was back in my uh, what carreta did, days. Did he make you wet? No, never that. Never that. Was it just friendship? He was just a good friend. Mm. He was just an acquaintance. I, I think I met him that day. Am I an acquaintance and a good friend? Okay, let's I, ask your people a question. What do you Edmosa. want him to be? Edmosa, what am I? You're my friend. You're my acquaintance. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you could be whatever you want. I can be whatever I want. Do you, you invite friends and acquaintances to your house? Never. Never. <laughs> hey, boy, Daniel, no teacher, what's up? <laughs> so do she do? doesn't invite friends or acquaintances to her house. I can be whatever I want. Does that mean I can be your man if I want to? You go with it that? depends on you. I don't know. It depends how serious he wants to take me out the game. Well, if that meant that, you know, like every woman, you know, con dinero baila el perro. Con dinero baila el perro. So would you dance for me? That's right. I dance for you now. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I dance for you now, Daniel. She said, I appreciate it. Daniel said, Linda, what do you prefer, micro or hung while you're working? What do you mean by Micro. A micro, like a guy with a small dick, or a guy with Ooh. a big dick when you're working? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that's a tough question. I will keep it just very simple. Whatever you guys can do, it's whatever I will respect. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what does a working girl prefer, though, when you go upstairs? I mean, it depends. A lot of girls have a little tiny pussy with. They don't like big dicks, and there's Keep a talking. lot of girls Keep that talking. have big pussies that they like to be hammered. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. How many girls do you say the most gr average girl at the bar? The I don't know, Ryan, but you got me going, bro. But the average girl oh, at the bar, does she like to be fucked hard or a little bit? Mm. Or do they can do the average girls, they don't finish, right? It's just a joke. It's just like put some lube on it, get it over with. I wouldn't want to speak up on everybody. She kicked me twice under the table and she <laughs> poked me in the fucking balls. What the I hell? want to poke his eyes, guys, but I can't because my eyes will take his eyes inside a weight. A weight, a weight. It's like that movie, um, you know, um, God of Egypt. Anyways, point is, I don't know what he's asking, but yeah, next question. Well, I'm asking you if, what's your ideal customer? Average customer. Come on. Oh, she don't want to say look at those black fingernails. Toxic cat. Average customer. Go upstairs. He can you rephrase your question? He can't get it up, and he's like, "Oh, I can't do this." Let's just. Well, here, most of the time they can. Most of the time they can. Or do they have mental issues? Do you have mental issues? Not myself. Will you, will you put your drink down? I don't have mental issues. I think I could deal with. That's a, big That's a tough question, Ryan. Relax. Um, I think the best thing I could say is just 
Um, what was your question? So what's the worst experience you have with a customer upstairs? Okay, so there was this Vietnamese guy where he showed me his family. He had a beautiful family with beautiful kids. They were all like probably 15, 16. Did you feel bad? But he had a tiny penis. Did you feel bad? So when I went upstairs with him, I was like, whoa, uh, can I have my money? And he was just like, he got offended. He got offended and he had no penis and he just ended up like just giving me the money, but he didn't, he didn't do anything. I think that was my worst experience. The guy had no dick. So is it not your preference to be with a guy with a dick? Or of course a big not. Dick? What a, you want a guy with a big dick to just blow your fucking back out? No, I think that will be for his own preference. I don't think I want to be a guy with a with no Daniel dick right fucking a girl. I, Daniel, know, I don't even want to see Daniel, no negative stuff. Daniel says, I'm a three inch on a good day, girls. I pay to have the biggest dick. Hey man, whatever makes you happy, I'm down with it. You know, as long as you're good. So my my question is, that was your worst experience. What, what was your best experience? When customer? they just had to fuck me with my skin hey. and come with my with their own. What was the <laughs> well, best? Yes, what's imagine. the best? What's the best experience you had with a customer? Oh, the first time you ever met him. Uh talk. Just oh, everything was given I, to me. Everything was given to me. Every drink I wanted was given to me. But at the end of the day, he had a big dick. But um, he, fucked shit he just wanted to give it to me. Like, he just wanted. He and didn't want like anything it. else. He just wanted me to have satisfaction. And it was just lovely. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and Luke swears he fits in that category. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't fit in that category. I'm not talking to you anymore. No I like him. He's so fucking cool. Me? Right? Oh my! I'm cool. You're outrageous. Why? I'm. Why would you tell the Brit girls I'm outrageous and obnoxious? But I'm cool. He's outrageous because he likes to speak his mind in his own words. But at the end of the day, we know we all don't think like he does. So we all have our own point of view. So let's meet up. Let's see what we gotta say. Maybe make me a drink, please. I would love to do that for you. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I told her she was very nervous about this video, I and I said, you know what? Just be yourself, Linda. Alcohol D. does everything for you. I you told know? her, I, I said, Linda D. I said, Linda D. Just be yourself. You're amazing. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. Who helps you? God. Who's your daddy? God. Who's your man? God. Mm -hmm. You don't think you don't know? No, 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 you. Yeah, she says no. Yeah. But he's so, a great help. I'll be honest with you. Like when I got my surgery, I was so nervous because I didn't have enough money. Did you for call my me? Focus. Did you call and me? And then this guy was just like God. He was like, woo, 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 woo. Did you call woo, me woo. bitching at me? No, I will never call you bitch. Did you bitch at me? I will never bitch at you. Did I come through for you? Yes, you did. Mm. Linda D. Oh, uh, <laughs> I could be guys, a Let me start purring right now. Let me tell you this right now. I trust her like I trust a rattlesnake. Thank you. I'll be a fucking rattlesnake anytime. But not to you. You've been a nice guy to me. I'll break your fucking nose. And I'll break your fucking heart. <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Keep in touch. We got lots of questions to answer. Okay. Yeah. Point What's up, man? Uh, Great to have you, Andrew. Andrew, what's up? We need to go. The, the, she like, do you like older customers or younger customers? I like a good attitude. A good attitude would always do good. Always? Always. I want a prison chick. I got a prison chick. Both of them? Yes. Manslaughter. Mm. Uh, is she an HK girl? If she wants to be, she's an HK girl. How many tattoos do I have? Just one right here, bro. Daniel, teach me. Mira. Oh, pero pinche. Mamacita. Otro donación. Hermoso, precioso. Que yo te bendiga. <laughs> Luke. 
Linda, stop telling us what we want to hear and tell us the truth. Linda, stop telling us what to Well, Daniel Teachman, what the fuck do you want to hear? She'll be honest right now. What fucking do you want to hear? Hey, you know what the funny thing is about Linda D, boys? I came to her apartment tonight for the first time. Yeah, I opened my doors to him. And she I've been said, knowing him for quite a minute, so I think he's like... Um, and, Lin for it. and Linda was like, hey, you know, you got to be cool. Don't make no noise. And then my landlord comes out. Fuck. This fucking 55, 60-year-old bitch comes out. She's like, no, oh, she's Linda. not a bitch. She's my friend. And she's like, oh, Linda, you, you have a friend visiting me. <laughs> and Linda's like, ah, hola, buenas noches. Como esta? Cállate, estupido. No quieres decir que no es putista. And don't quiero decir que think I have a man in my house. Like nigga, I've been living here on my own for a longest. I don't want her, 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 to know any of her you know, my fucking, personal life. Her fucking place is great. I see um some photographs. I'm gonna go take a look at. <laughs> Who is that? Is that that bitch that you know, that's that bitch that works at Tropical? <laughs> you guys were together? Yeah, that's my bitch right there. Well, she's not another personality. My personality is not a guy at work, but she's no. Damaris. Ooh, mm. she's Damaris. She's the real bitch, Linda. Wow. So, so here's the deal. Um, you guys have some problems, obviously. We all have problems, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we all have problems, don't you? Yeah. Well, you know what? I will say right? this, boys. Let me say this. She might be Damaris, but this girl right here next to me, even though I just found that <laughs> out, she didn't invite me for no reason. She doesn't talk to me for no reason. She doesn't do what she does for no reason. And you know what? I'm going to be with her and not that fucking ugly-ass grill fucked up shit. <laughs> well, I have a gap. Well, okay, so let me – should I tell them about my – whatever happened to me? Well, like four weeks ago, I went to take my wisdom tooth off. And they didn't do a good job because my... It's fucked uh, up. Who sent you money? Who sent you money? You did not. You did, I did not. not. You sent me $100, which was like nothing, right? Anyways. Uh, is that, but is I'm that expecting bitch more money from him anyways. She's but expecting more money I can't even open my job. Hey, she's expecting um, more money from me. By this. Wait, my, my is, that, is that another girl mad? Is that what you... You asked me three or four mm -hmm. times if I knew her. Ah. What? <laughs> Only people, real people would know. <laughs> Say what? Okay. Mm. So, anyways, <laughs> can you read whatever they Ryan have? Ryan Mendoza said, "Been having fun." All right, guys. One time, right here. One night. One time. Any questions for a TJ working girl? We got exactly three minutes left on the podcast. If we get some donations, we'll fucking extend it. But we got three minutes left. You got three minutes left. Shoot it. Repeat it. Let's let's do this right here. Excuse me, guys. He said she's so serious. I am. Wait until you meet me. Wait, you say, Mamo, so que tiene que pinza que se chula. Soy la hija de su puta madre, pero um, I'm amor, being really amor, fucking no nice. Amor, amor, no es chula. Yo, yo te arreglo las cosas mejor que ella lo tiene. Ah, yo quiero madre. otra botella de licor. ¿Por qué no la haces dos, Lucas? Okay, Lucas is just being redundant. No, I'm not so aquí cerca. Aquí arribita. Pero creo que para eso necesitas terminar esto y no, 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 yo sigo hablando con ellos, tú vas para allá, tú eres... Oye, para... estás jurando en tu corazón que yo voy a ir para allá. Demaris. Estás jurando en tu corazón que yo You're voy a ir para allá. You're not that fucking hot to tell me what to do. You're not that fucking cool to be telling me what to do. That's fine, I'll just answer my customer's questions. Yeah, they didn't tell you what the fuck why, to do. Why don't you just, like, move away from the camera? Be best. Anyways, guys, so oh, this is how I feel about this. That's a funny girl. So, um, oh. Yeah, Lucas is just a little bit outrageous. And obnoxious. So I'm trying to show you that life could be super fucking great if we work hard for it. And Lucas should be going for the bottle. Mm. 
but I'll give him his time. Because he likes to be on his own time. Hey, guys. I Tell him to go to the fucking store and give me some fucking liquor so he could fucking make this party happen. I'll fuck, you, know? you know what? You keep talking shit. I'll fuck shit out of you. How about that? He wants to. Right in the butthole. He really wants no, to. Me no, porque you really want to. Tu madre, La no, tuya no, también, no. puto. Yeah, puto. Uh, well, you know, but then I get gangster. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. No me vas a pegar. Because then I get gangster with it, and then I start putting some gangster music on, and then you guys will be like, hell yeah, this bitch is the shit. And then the white boy will be like, to the side. You guys know how it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> Such a give me a kiss, give me a kiss. I, I don't love you for shit. Go <laughs> straight to hell. Jesus Christ. He does. He loves me in a good fucking She's way. She's healing nobody smashing. I'm going to beat that butthole up tonight. And we'll see what happens with the monetized shit. Mm. Should we put this camera in your butt? You can put whatever you want in my butt. I can put whatever I want in her butt. Yeah, she can take it. She's like, mm. we'll keep it as that. Luke, I paid two fifty for the sausage. Vamos, vamos. Me tengo que defender, estúpido. So she just told me she has to defend herself, and I'm a stupido. In other words, it doesn't matter what I say or do. She has to defend herself to be proper. Oh, hmm, hmm. So you hmm. would like. You would do whatever I say, but you have to defend. Ryan, right, you're still the fucking shit. Yeah, of what? course. What I did know. you just say? You would do whatever the fuck I tell you to do, but you you have to maintain face. To a person like you, yeah, I have to keep my fucking attitude hundred percent. She said she has to keep her attitude in check. 97 likes, guys. That ain't fucking cutting it. No, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hey. If you guys keep your, uh, what is it, like, likes, can you guys give me likes and, like, probably get up and show you guys my boots? You saw shit. <laughs> Don't think you're showing likes while I'm gonna fuck. Right? Uh, can we go OnlyFans? No. Yo decía comprar otra Dame uno. I'm just doing this because Luke is asking me for this brick girl. She'll do whatever I say. I like him. Well, he likes it. You know, he likes that sloppiness. You like that sloppy shit. I love Asshole it. I licking, fucking love it. Spitting, boom, boom, boom. No, not really. I like that clean shit, you know, where you brush your teeth and you make it happen. Mm. Why not? Guys, shoot a donation here for the Linda D. We're going to we're gonna be coming offline here pretty quick, but, like, shoot it. Any questions that she's got? How many kids does she have, bro? She got, how many kids do you have? I'll we'll keep that to myself. I have no kids. No, uh, I'm going to go with two. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it as two to his fantasy. Tell her to stand up. No, you ain't standing up. You're legendary. Yeah. Luke, I'm very easy to manipulate. All the girls are. Send me some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, send me some fucking money, please. Don't send her shit. She deserves nothing. <laughs> Sit off the moon. Say that again? Whatever she... he said, he said the opposite of it. Maybe he said. No. Get the fuck away from cool, huh? Maybe. Oh, fuck her right in the ass. Fuck her right in the asshole. He wishes. Will you give it to me? He really does. Would you give it to me? He really I mean, I'm already does. in your house. And that's why the British girls, please get in contact with him about this comment. Because just because he's here doesn't mean he has to do anything. Am like I that. outrageous? Please ban him for yeah. this stupid ban, comment. Ban. Oh, ban. Well, you see, you be careful with what you say. 82. Motherfucker, hit that fucking like button right now. I already had it. Hey, guys. I really appreciate your help. Mind. Thank you guys for being here. And her English is 90.5. Guys, her English is amazing. Linda D is amazing in 
her person is amazing. <laughs> the thing I like about her the most, and guys, I don't cut girls any slight. Most are real. She's real. She's a good friend of mine, and I think the world of her. And yeah, you know, we'll just keep it at that. And I'm at her house, and guys, yeah, this is the real. My, yeah, this is my fucking proper. No, I'm not. This is my casa. Mm, God bless America and Mexico for having me at this point in my life, wherever I want. Love the day. Quien te cuida? Yo. That's it. Guys, watch this shit. We're going to do it right, right here. He swears. <laughs> he swears. Like, okay, so this guy wants more than just all that. What I want? I want your ass. I want him too. Hold up. Hold no, up. You want me too? You want me? Maybe. Oh my god, that's just this funny. East LA bitch right here. I... You want me too, right? I want Lucas, but Lucas se pasa de verga porque he thinks he's a real shark. The marriage is becoming a real fucking shark. But we guys don't need to know anything about that. Point is, I will take him down. Point is, uh, you won't take me down. The camera's on. Mm. And we'll do what we have to do on the camera, and we'll see who takes you down. How's that? Um, um, whatever you guys have to say, God bless you all. I'm so thankful you guys have been present for the moment. Do you, do you know Baby at Tropical? I don't. I don't. And I honestly, I don't know any other girl. I just know guys, that honestly, whatever is in it to win it. Guys, I want to say this about Linda D right here. We got <laughs> um, four minutes left to an hour and a half. We're done. He's a fucking shit, man. He convinced me to do this for a, an hour and 30 minutes. For now. <laughs> Guys, here's the deal with this girl. She's an absolute 10. She's a HK girl. She's a fucking tropical girl. And she's a Zone North Day girl. And she's answering your questions for the next three or four minutes, guys. Any motherfucking question you have. All I want to say is that I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of this fucking video. Thank you for being here. I appreciate any donation you guys made. I think the best thing I can say for all you guys, I'm fucked up. I've been drinking this stupid fucking bottle that this guy just purchased. And only God knows. I'm so thankful you guys are being here and just shit me some fucking help. Guys, we're going to get her a boob job and everything else. We're gonna Chichis. Put, no. Done for the banda. <laughs> She's special. Okay. She's an amazing girl. I, I, I do not wear a helmet, though. I do not. Guys, wear <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. I've only had a donation session for two girls. Miss Venezuela and Mariana. <laughs> Miss Venezuela, right? And my whole fucking YouTube career. This is another one, right? Help so me. shoot it right now. And mm -hmm. we're, you know what? We're going to, this is the pre prelim. We're going to do an interview. We're going to have another one after that, but we got to get there. It takes time, guys, but we'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you haven't done it already, any questions, I'm going to answer them real quick. Okay, if you guys have like many questions, please write them down on capital letters and we'll make more attention to them. Right. Capital right, letters. Boys. Que bonita, gracias. She's got her fucking head down where it needs uh, to be. Right, one time. But he swears oh. he got to like bite. Mm, not yet. Oh, yeah. You're gonna love this shit. <laughs>